Hello guys, this is your March reading. Yes, I know that I have been absent and um, I have been going through some things and, and changing up some things in my life and yeah, just getting my shit together, okay? So, as I was pre-shuffling, I noticed that um, the Fool is under the bottom of your deck, which I feel like is like the overall energy here. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of you have left a location recently. Um, you're starting over. You're feeling like you're starting over with next to nothing even. Um, and I feel like there's something that you're reflecting on here though. This is Aries energy. There's a situation that you are definitely reflecting on and wondering if you uh, made a mistake or if you did the right thing even. Okay. Let's see. What is the overall energy around my Leos currently? Oh, okay. Nine of Pentacles. I see flipped over, but we're going to put that back in there. That is energy of being single, trying to get your shit together, starting over, um, probably coming out of a relationship and um, just trying to like get to the point where you are feeling very secure and comfortable in your own skin and in yourself and in your finances even. <clears throat> what is the energy around Leo's? Knight of Wands. Leaving. Making um, progress here. This is Sagittarius energy. This is also like movement. Leaving one location to go to another. Okay. Very fiery energy. So your element, you're definitely here. Feeling like there's something that you want to accomplish and you want to do it fast. I feel like a lot of you guys are feeling like you're on some sort of time frame here. What's crossing my Leos? Oh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, of course, that's the Nine of Pentacles. You're coming out of the Ten of Pentacles where you were in a relationship. So now you're single. I feel like you felt pretty stable before when you were in a relationship. I don't know if there was a lot of um, emotional attachment with that relationship, but you definitely felt I feel secure in that relationship. Um, but now you're really trying to get to a point where you are self-sufficient. You're comfortable by yourself. You know, you're good by yourself financially even, okay? <clears throat> Virgo energy there. What is the underlying issue here for Leo's? The moon. Hmm. You don't really know how to feel about your current situation. There's a lot that's, that's not known to you, that's not um, been revealed to you even. This is Cancer Piscean energy. There's a lot of things that's not clear for you. Things are kind of muddled for you right now. I feel like um, for some of you guys, you feel like you've lost your way. And you're not really sure how you feel about this new status that you're, you currently have. Hmm. What was going on in the current path? In the current past? <laughs> what was going on in the past for... Leo's I do feel like there's like this muddled um, this muddled feeling this muddled these muddled thoughts like you can't really get your thoughts together you don't really know how to I feel like some of you are all over the place I'm feeling scattered is what I'm feeling in the recent past of the five of swords there was a lot of arguments and disagreements and you feeling like you know somebody did something basically just to fuck with you okay and it could be vice versa that there were just lots of arguments between you and someone else Aquarius energy here but I see you trying to move away from that I'm like you don't have time for it and I think that's the one thing that you're sure about that you're solid on is that you don't have time for the bullshit. Okay? <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Leo's. 
four of cups you're not going to extend yourself emotionally um, right now mm -mm. you're not gonna do it it's cancer energy I think you're trying to drink from your own cup you're trying to do things to make yourself happy you don't feel like you are um, you're, you're not at that place that you want to be right now and so you you're feeling like the best thing for you to do is to keep to yourself keep your emotions to yourself um, but I do feel like if somebody came to you then I feel like you would be more open but there's some clarity from someone I think that you need to um, you need clarity from someone else you need to know how this other person feels you have very deep feelings for someone here but I feel like there's a lot of arguments and a lot of confusion and a lot of conflict with this person as well that you've experienced in the past and and you're not with that and so to not let your feelings confuse this situation you're just like resolving to not participate not to get emotionally involved because you have your eye on a prize and I feel like that is for you to be self-sufficient to be your own person to be financially stable and aware and um, to have your own place just all of those things you know what's coming in for Leo Oh, God. Three of Swords. I feel like this is heartbreak. This is being broken hearted. This is wanting to talk things out. Wanting to get um, clarification. Being disappointed. Is what this Three of Swords is. Libra energy here. And I think it's mostly due to your stability. Um, maybe, you know, you guys lived with someone, but there was not an emotional attachment there. Um, but it was a stable environment. It was a family environment. That you weren't necessarily ready to leave, but there was conflict there. For some of you, you left one conflicting situation to go into another situation, basically, that was um, uh, not, not emotionally fulfilling. And there are a lot of feelings that I feel like you guys have not dealt with here. How is Leo viewing the situation? Justice. A lot of people have been getting justice, trying to do the right thing, trying to do what they feel like is best for them and what's best for the other person involved. Because you reap what you sow. I think a lot of you guys are also taking a tally of things like, what have I done to deserve this? And wanting retribution in a sense for whatever wrongs you feel like someone has um, done towards you what is the influence here for Leo's the hanged man Piscean energy it's a lot of Pisces energy going on I think because um, sometime probably right now I think Mercury's retrograde in Pisces so I've been seeing a lot of Piscean energy coming up in the readings thus far, but um, you feel stuck. You feel like you're almost like this sacrificial freaking lamb. Like no matter which way you turn, you get burned. Hmm. And it's got you wanting to just basically close your emotions off to keep yourself from being hurt. Look at that, the hermit. And it turned sideways like this when it came out. I feel like a lot of you guys are going into seclusion. You're isolating yourselves here. This is Virgo energy. You're kind of thinking back 
reflecting on the past, but I feel like you're not getting the answers that you want. And that's probably the reason why the hermit is coming out sideways. You know, you're looking in the wrong places for the answers. That's what I'm hearing. Hopes or fears for Leo. The Empress. Of course. You want to be self-sufficient. The Empress is a combination of all four of those queens. She has her shit together. She's self-sufficient. She's emotionally um, secure and mature. Her head is on straight. She's making the money that she needs. She puts up with nobody's bullshit. And if she needs to start over by herself, that's what she does. And I feel like that's where you guys are at. But right now you're feeling stuck. You know? That Empress is like that Taurus, Libra, Aries type energy. That go-getter. Let's nobody stop her. Let's nobody get in her way. And she bounces back. You guys will bounce back. What is the overall outcome here for Leo's? And the fool comes out. Look at that shit. Can I make this shit up? <laughs> that Aries energy. Look at that. This is leaving all that foolishness behind and starting over. Not carrying a whole lot of baggage. You see, the fool has very little. Very little shit that they're taking with them, okay? Only the necessities, my dear. Okay, guys? So let me pull you a Romance Angels card to take you guys on out of the reading. What other message do we get for my Leos? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Whatever that means for you. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, guys? So, that is what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.